so long. I forgot your name. Hello, my name is Shafri and I'm going to teach you how to make cookie sandwiches. All the ingredients for this recipe you can find in the description down below. Alright, the first thing we're going to make is the dough. The ingredients we'll be needing for this part are butter, sugar, egg, sour cream, cornstarch, baking powder, baking soda, salt. Don't worry, I already have them all three, all three, four. Yeah. I know math. All four in the bowl. All purpose flour and almond flour. The first step we're gonna do is we're gonna put all our dry ingredients into the same bowl. So we're gonna use our flour, almond flour, and our cornstarch, and our cornstarch, I can't remember, why can't I, I just said it. And our cornstarch, baking powder, baking soda, and salt into the same bowl. And we're just gonna whisk it all together just to make sure everything's all even. And when that's done, we're just gonna push it to the side. You like that move? I didn't look at the bowl. Now that's set aside, now we're gonna just mix our butter and sugar. And now we're gonna mix this until it becomes light and fluffy. When that's done mixing, I'm just gonna grab my spatula and scrape down the sides and also the paddle. So we're just gonna do this quickly. Make sure everything's completely mixed. And now I'm gonna scoop in my sour cream also. And now we're going to let it mix until that gets combined. So you want to make sure that your bowl looks like that. It's like really nice and I don't know if it's catching on that camera. But it looks pretty smooth and now we're going to add in our egg. And then we're going to mix it until that's combined. Guess what's the word of the day? Is it? Or how about this one? Or this one? Well, it's this one. Once again, scrape down your sides. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot to mention vanilla. I'm an idiot. Toss in your vanilla. Now you got your wet ingredients combined. Now we're gonna add in our dry ingredients. And now we're just gonna mix it until it's completely combined. Personally for me, I like using a green color for this recipe, mainly because we're going to be using raspberry jam later on. And it's actually a really good complementary colors, because they are complementary colors. Wait. I was supposed to say they're complementing each other because they're complementary colors. That's what I was trying to say. So I'm just going to use add a little bit of green. I don't want too much because I don't want it to be like green green. But I think let's, let's try that. Okay, so now we're going to scrape down the sides because not all the color is going to hit every part evenly. Okay, so now we already finished mixing our dough. The color is now even. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cover it in saran wrap and then we're going to put it in the fridge. The reason why we're going to be covering it with saran wrap, and I don't have enough saran wrap. Maybe. Yes. Oh, okay. Well... The reason why we're covering it with saran wrap and putting it in the fridge is because this dough is really soft to cut out any shapes. So we're going to leave it overnight for it to firm up and we're going to be using it tomorrow. But we're not done yet. What now we're going to start doing is the raspberry jam. Alright, now we're going to start doing the jam, which is super easy. It's just four ingredients. The ingredients you will need are raspberries. I'm using frozen raspberries, so what you can tell that they're frozen raspberries is that um, they're melted. Well, it doesn't matter if you're using frozen or fresh raspberries, just raspberries. Pectin and sugar. So when you're doing jams, you do want to mix your pectin and sugar together because that's just going to help prevent making any lumps inside your jams. So it just helps separate everything, distribute everything evenly. So you want to mix them both beforehand. And lemon juice. In medium heat, you're going to put your raspberries in a pot and we're just going to stir it until it becomes almost body temperature. And that's when we're basically going to put the pectin and sugar in. This is going to take a bit of a... I'm staring at myself a lot. Not because I'm a narcissist, well that too, but because 
it's been like a long time since I made a video, and I, I feel like I'm still a bit, I, I, I feel a bit uncomfortable in front of the camera right now, to be honest. Okay, okay. So, I feel like we should put it in now, because now it's feeling more body temperature. Put that in. Mix that all together. Now we're going to cook this into a high heat. And we're going to cook it until you start seeing slow bubbles forming. You don't want to see rapid bubbles. Well, it's going to be... You'll see like different stages in the bubble. It's going to be rapid, and then it's not going to be like slow and like harder to break. Pop. That's a good better... That is a better word. Pop. You see the bubbles? It's getting harder for it to pop. So when your jam is starting to bubble and it starts to look like that, that's when you have to put it off the heat and add in your lemon juice. After I'm finished mixing this, I'm going to put it in the container and let it cool overnight with the dough. I'm going to see you tomorrow for when we can bake off and finish the cookies. Well, you're going to see me in this next transition. I'm going to see you tomorrow. But you're going to see me in a few seconds. You'll see there's going to be a transition right now. No. So it's the next day, your dough has been firmed up, and your jam. And yes, I am wearing the same outfit from yesterday. You can't stop me. So what we're going to do is we're going to dust our surface. So... You really do want to generously dust your surface because this dough is pretty, pretty sticky in general and you do want to work fast. And put that over there. Okay. And what we want to do is roll this out until it becomes an eighth of an inch. I feel like that is a good, could be a little bit thinner. Okay, awesome. Now using a, this one is two and a half inches. So we're using a square two and a half inch cookie cutter and we're just gonna cut everything out. Okay, let's use this, help us move. Oh no, oh come on. That's mine of its own. Okay. Well, we're not using that. Apparently it doesn't work. Okay. A great thing about this dough is you can just easily pull everything back together and just re-roll it and it's basically going to stay the same consistency. So I have my cookies here on my tray. I lined it with a silk mat. You can use parchment paper if you want. We're going to put these cookies in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for seven to eight minutes. Your goal for these guys is to be fully cooked without any browning. So sometimes it could be either like seven minutes or it could be like seven, 15 seconds because there is a fine line of it being fully cooked and also being undercooked and then also becoming browning. So it's, for me, it's been usually seven to eight minutes. So the seven to eight minutes are already passed. Now we're going to let the cookies cool, but while we're letting it cool, we're also going to put another sheet tray on top of the cookies just to help it flatten out a bit. While your cookies are cooling off, this is actually a great time to also work with your fillings. So what we have here, I already pre-made my buttercream. It's a simple American buttercream. Uh, it's just equal parts butter and powdered sugar, so I just use one fourth pound, uh, <laughs> I use one fourth pound of butter. I used one fourth pound, one fourth pound, I used one fourth pound of butter and powdered sugar. And I just mixed it up and I color matched it to the cookie. Also, I put my jam in a pastry bag. So this little packet right here, I don't know if you can see it, it's the raspberry jam. I just took out the seeds through a sieve. And what we're gonna do with it is we're gonna use it for decorative, we're gonna use it for decorative purposes on the cookies uh, once we assemble everything together. Now that your cookies are finally cooled and flattened, now it's time to assemble it. So what you need is going to have three pieces of cookies, because it's going to be like that double decker type of sandwich situation. I don't know why, seeing the two stripes in it makes it look cooler than just one. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your buttercream first, and you're just going to pipe a border. This will help the raspberry stay in place. And you don't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure that the buttercream is keeping all the jam in place inside. And now you're going to do your jam. And you don't need a lot. Trust me, jam goes 
a long way. Okay. So just smooth it out a bit. Evenly. Put your next one on top. Let's go up there. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Pat it down. And also make sure that it's very much aligned. Okay. Now we're gonna do it for a second layer. Yeah. Put that layer on top, make sure there's no air bubbles again, and make sure everything is what's that word I'm trying to put? Straight, leveled, leveled, right? Yeah. So this is basically how you're gonna assemble one of them. You just continue it with the rest. But once this is done, you put it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes for then the buttercream can harden and everything can really just solidify. Because later, we're going to cut off the edges and make sure everything's like nice, pristine, and sharp. So I'm going to put this in the fridge, and I'm going to see you in 30 minutes. Well, you're going to see me once again in like the next frame. Maybe I'm going to have a cool transition this time. I forgot it the last time, though. Whoa! Wow, that was... Some crazy CGI like the Transformers! Right? So we're at the final steps of finishing this. Now it's just we need to cut it, make it look nice, and decorate it. So some people like to have their edges cut, so that is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna cut off the edges, but very so slightly. As you can see, there's a very strong line of buttercream. That is what we want. So we're just gonna cut off all the edges, but very so close to the edge because we don't want to accidentally cut into the jam. You might also want to like, really cut your cookie sandwich really slow at this moment because it could easily like break off or like you want to get it as smooth as possible because this thing does get crumbly. So now we're going to cut this in half. So just long motions. Try not, when holding it, try not to touch the buttercream and touch the bread part. Just the bread part you want to touch. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Crossing fingers, that looks sleek and nice. Oh, 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 look at that, look at that line. Look at that line. Ooh, so we're just gonna either, you could discard these things or just, oh, they're just gonna my apron, okay. Or you can just eat it as it is and have it as snacks while you're making this. Okay, for the next part is the decorating. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our little packet that we have. We're going to use this as a glue and also to give little accent and color into the thing that we're going to decorate. I know how... No, 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 speak. Me. So what I have here are some gum paste flowers. Uh, they're normal, simple, cut-out flowers. I did this before. You could also buy these things. It could be like fondant or gum, gum paste, but uh, I just have gum paste on me right now, so that's what I did. And what we're going to do is do some dots, but not too much, or else it'll start slipping and sliding when it stands up. And just place a flower right there. This will be acting like a glue. And we're going to do it with different sizes. So, just do that. That's nice. This is a bit of a smaller one, so we have to put less. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And now we're also gonna put some in the center. Give it a little heat color. And there you have it, your cookie sandwich. I don't want to eat it because I love how this looks like with the lines and everything. But uh, 
Oh, that's really good. I don't know why, but I really see myself eating this like in a picnic. I guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> I'm just distracted by this. I hope you guys enjoy this video and also try the recipe out. Try to change things up. Try not do green, maybe blue, maybe pink. And maybe tr uh, try a different berry instead of raspberry. See ya!